with an understanding of the past and my expectations of the future I think I grew up in the best few decades. I will try to paint a picture of what it was like. The movie American Graffiti closely captures the culture of the time. I have many fond memories over the years but the best time ever were my teens. With limited responsibilities and a growing interest in girls, every day brought a new adventure. The 50s and early 60s gave us music that is still loved today. Every hit sounded completely different and the creativity was through the roof. In those years all of the car manufacturers completely changed the body styling of their cars every year. Us boys knew every car make and model on site and we all looked forward to what next year's model would bring. Then came Elvis Presley and we all had to have the greasy ducktail haircut and a black leather jacket. You needed to carry a rat ale comb in your back pocket and if you were really cool you had a truck driver's wallet with a long chain on it. Later came the Beach Boys and then the Beatles. There were only two radio stations in Regina at the time and they did not like to play our music. They would play it now and then but if we had a good car radio we could pick up KOMA in Oklahoma City late at night. They would play non-stop hit tunes. Then came the 45 RPM record. You could buy your favorite song as a single with a second track on the other side. If you had the money you could get an under dash record player for your car. Soon came the 8 track tape player. It was even better. A date might be parking the car in a dark spot at the legislative rounds and listening to music. More often a date would be cruising the streets looking for red light races or a night at the drive-in theater. Every boy had his driver's license the day he turned 16 and having a cool car helped to attract the girls. When it was a night of cruising the streets we would often stop at the A&W for a burger and Groot beer. If you had a cool car, that was the best place to show it off. My car was my life, any extra money I had went into making my car cooler. You would often meet girls through friends or work but we would sometimes just cruise the streets looking for girls. If we would see a few girls walking down the street, it was a challenge to drive up beside Tam and strike up a conversation. I remember one time when me and my friend Dave tried this and the girls said they were not going to get into the car with strangers but after an hour or so of conversation and the promise of some beer they were in the car and we all had a great time. My friend Dave was only 18 but he could pass for 21 and he was often the one to get the beer. Yes beer and liquor were the only vices available to my generation, at least in the crowd I ran in. I am very thankful for that. A weekend might be a trip to Regina Beach for the day or you might even find a party that night. At one of my early jobs I was working with an older man who was on crutches, he was an anti-car collector and had several Model T's in his backyard. I would often go over to his house to help him work on them which gave me the opportunity to drive a Model T several times. That was a blast. He briefly had a 1927 Essex which I got to take for a spin. I was having lots of fun with no responsibilities and little money. My typical salary back then was $35 to $40 a week however to put things in perspective gasoline was about 35 cents a gallon. As soon as I had a job my dad had me paying $40 a month for room and board. I guess that taught me a little responsibility and helped out the family.